Now give us an update on the markets. Currently sales quadrupled last week to just under $1 million. In today's session, we had EcoBank and SIC insurance driving activity there. Hello, Nee, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes, just talk us through market activity on the boss. We had uh, sales quadrupling in last week's session to just under uh, $1 million. Could you talk us through activity in today's session? Um, well, today's session was quite um, um, active as well. We saw um, the counters, um, Ecobank Transnational, SIC, um, being featured quite prominently. And then we also saw um, significant price movements in the likes of Ecobank, um, SIC, Guinness, and, and Cal. Um, this largely is as a result of the strong earnings numbers that they released over the full year period and the expectation that this will be maintained um, in the first quarter of this year. Now looking at some other results, we had results out from PZ Cousins for the uh, nine months through to February 2012. We had turnover and profit growth up 28% and 42% respectively. Were those results in line with your expectations? Um, well, largely, yes. We had expected expenses to go up a bit. And then that's largely because the city has been in free fall and PZ, like a consumer goods company, um, like any other, um, has, is seriously exposed to currency risk. Uh, but that was um, contained, uh, surprisingly. And as a result, the, the results are uh, more or less quite positive and, and as such in line with our expectations. Now looking at currency risk, what are your growth prospects for the company going forward? Well, we um, are actually maintaining our full year forecast. Um, we, we currently have a, a, a buy rating on it. Um, its target price is just, I think, under 30% um, in terms of an upside potential. Uh, but it's definitely a, a lot more positive. The only problem with PZ is that it tends to be liquid because it has such a small float. So um, even though the results are quite good and stuff, it's going to be a hard time for most investors to try and get their hands on them. We are running out of time, but I just wanted to talk to you about Fan Milk results. They reported a first quarter net profit up nearly 26% to 6.5 million, uh, million cities. We had revenue up nearly 40% to 35.7 million cities. Quite impressive results. Could you talk us through what actually drove these uh, positive numbers? Um, from where we said it's most likely due to um, volumes growth. Um, well, we have, haven't taken any price um, increases so far this year. Um, and um, the last time that they did such a price review, that was last year, and that, the price of their products were up about 10%. So it's, we, we, we believe that it's mostly due to volume growth um, and, um, year on year.